Hey guys, this is Shojib here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create first person controller. So, we're going to create something very similar to this. I have a sample here. So, you know, I have an arm or gun, whatever you say. We have a cross here in the middle. It's a dot, but it's uh, in the center of the screen. And then, you know, we can look left and right, up and down, left and right, forward and back, and jump, and jump. See, just like first person shooter game, you know, you can like move right and keep sh shooting, left shooting, go back and shoot, or jump and shoot. See, you can all do all that. You can look down, look up, you know, all those fun stuff. So let's get started. All right, so, so we have an empty project. Uh, first thing first, we're going to place a plane right we have a plane here and we're going to scale it we're going to scale it to five and five okay i'm going to create a material for this so create material we're going to name it m underscore plane and give it a color let's assign and drag it and give it a color um something like yeah this looks nice um All right, so I'm going to create an, a capsule. Um, something like this. I'm going to make it taller. Okay. Create a material for this as well. So I'm going to do Control D here. Okay. And this is going to be player. Let's just keep it on the player and send the color, change the color to something different. Yeah, this works for me. Now we make sure it's center. So we're going to right click on transfer reset. Um, it's in center. We're just going to, we're going to drag it up so that it's above the plane surface. Now we're going to drag the camera inside. Okay. Where is the camera now? Camera is over here. So we can select the camera. Um, okay, this is what you're gonna do. Keep the camera outside, select the camera, right click on transform or reset. So it's gonna center the camera as well. And so I'm gonna drag up the camera and up so that we can see and we're facing facing this way all right this camera is centered and what else we want to do we want to give it an arm um and i'm going to put the camera inside the capsule right all right and uh, select the capsule uh, okay let's name it let's name it player okay select player right click and then add a cube right center cube by resetting it drag it in front you should see the cube drag it up I'm going to resize it place it right up somewhere here I'm going to add a cross here so right click here um, I'm going to add an image you go to user interface and image um, yeah so we have a canvas and image and uh, select image uh, we're going to center it so click on this and hold alt and click on this so it will center it as, as you can see here right you can see it here in front of your camera and we're going to click on it you should see the image grip source image click on the um there's a circle on the right which is like the option it, sh it shows it gives you a list of uh, Right, we're going to select uh, this one knob, right? Select that, you should see a circle in the center. Now, just resize it so the width is 100. We're going to make it like five, right? So, the, you should see the dot here, right? And we're going to give it a color of um, maybe yellow. Throw it up to you, yeah, something like that. 
Let's create a cube. 3D object, cube. Choose one of the materials and control D. It's going to duplicate. Make sure um, the material is applied to cubes. And let's right click and create an empty and put the cubes inside and name this object um, cubes. All right, so you know they're nicely organized. So we have two cubes and let's change the color of the cube. It's going to be um yeah something like this it works also we're going to change the color of our this is going to be gone right uh, we're going to keep it the same color so i'm going to keep it yellow just the color of the main character so yellow we have the dot yellow and yeah so this looks fine i mean we have the objects in place they look fine now we have to write some code right click here create a new c -sharp script name it a first person controller and we're going to assign it to the player drag and put it here it shows you the controller select player drag the skip and edit here you see the fp controller um now let's start writing code okay i'm going to zoom in better all right so this is what we have um the first thing we're going to do is um i think we need to make one more thing so select the player and make sure add a rigid body um rigid body. okay make sure you have the rigid body added to the player we will need that uh, make sure you save your scene and work if something goes wrong so I'm going to save it. Um, save scenes. F P scene. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the uh, Visual Visual Studio 2017, and the first thing first, we are going to make the um, rigid body required, so that it only works when the rigid body is there. All right. So that's number one. Now I'm going to add some uh, variables. So we're going to have public um, speed. We can have five float. So we would need um, um, transform camera rigid body. All right. Let's start with this first. Let's take care of the rigid body. So we're going to RB equal um, get component, right? And it's going to be rigid body. You have seen this before, I'm sure. All right, so we're going to get the rigid body this way. We're going to get the camera by saying cam equal camera uh, main, since that's the main camera, and transform. All right, let's check our if our camera is tagged to main camera. Well, that's very important. Click on main camera right and make sure the tag is main camera otherwise it's not going to work let's go back to our script so we have grabbed our rigid body we have uh, assigned the camera now we're going to get the input so float x move input um, get access row the first one is going to be horizontal copy this paste it three times second one is going to be y vertical okay third one is going to be z which is going to be our jump all right so we have this if we don't know where our this name came from original vertical jump if you go back to unity and click on edit project settings and input you should see all the axes horizontal vertical and jump this is the name you could use for horizontal is um a and d and left and right right for vertical you have up and down and s and w for jump you have spacebar all right let's go back to our visual studio so we grabbed all those uh, axes 
and now we're going to do some calculations so we do vector three we're going to move horizontal we can say move horizontal transform right and we're going to multiply by x movement so what this will do it will be like um, one zero zero since these are vector right vector vertex has three inputs the first one is x movement the moving horizontal if you if you move right is going to one zero zero so it's the the first uh, number will change only and then if you do left is going to be a minor minus one left is minus one and right is plus one um, moving vertical is going to be the last one this so moving forward is going to change this moving forward is going to be plus uh, moving backward is going to be a minus and we're going to copy one more and this is going with the last one jump moving up and it's going to change the one in the center right move up will be one down will be, will be minus one let's change this make sure these are multiplying by the right y movement and z movement this is very important otherwise it's not going to work all right all right so now we're going to calculate our velocity velocity is a vector as well we can have the let's create a private vector 3 here which is going to be velocity uh, because we're going to use the velocity in the uh, fixed update method so let's say velocity equal we're going to multiply all those three move horizontal um, i'm sorry not multiply but add them move vertical plus move up and then normalize it times speed our speed is five foot all right so that's work so let's add add in um a private void uh fixed update make sure the velocity not equal null uh, use the rigid body uh, move position this is something you have to memorize and use it over and over so rigid body position uh, plus velocity and multiply by time dot fixed delta time okay so so now we should be able to move left and right forward and back and jump using this so let's minimize this and go back to unity um let's see if we have any error message all right so i think we have made a mistake we have to fix this it's not null it's going to be vector three zero so we're going to do something here so we're going to say vector um, when you assign it is going to be equal to vector three zero now uh, this should work shouldn't you see any error now okay let's see if we play this what happens okay something went wrong we have to fix this choose click on player and make sure you have frozen the rotation x y and z um there you go so now we can move right left forward back and jump all right so this is very important make sure you should do that constraints and freeze the rotation of x y and z and now I can go left and right and forward and back and jump. See, pretty cool, right? Okay, now we're gonna add the mouse rotation so that we can look up and down and you know around the place. All right. Let's go back to our code. We're gonna do some more. We're gonna add more coding. Um. So what you wanna do is 
transform when you rotate uh, what are you going to rotate is vector three up times when you get the input get get axis only not the axis row uh, this is going to be mouse x from from the input time um, delta time so it's per second times mouse sensitivity this is something we have to add we have a private variable private uh, float mouse sensitivity equal let's say 250 float all right so that should do it copy this paste but we're not going to do it using transform rotate so we're going to do is um we're going to create another variable called so private float vertical vertical look rotation will it make sense okay so we're going to remove transform rotate um plus equal we're going to remove vector three up input axis is going to be y remove the parentheses and parentheses from there so it's more mathematics equal clamp it uh, so that way it doesn't go too much to the up or too much to the down bottom and and is going to use 60 and 60. all right finally we're going to grab the camera because uh method called local cooler angles equal vector three left times particle look rotation all right i think that's pretty much it so these four lines of code will take care of our mouse axis so you know left right look up so we can look up and down left and right in all direction without doing anything crazy let's give it a run minimize this save it minimize it so we need to fix one more thing we need the gun to be under player otherwise when the camera moves the gun is not going to move all right so let's give it a play there you go we can move left move right move forward move back jump we can jump and jump and jump while we're walking we can look up and down and see our gun moves as well and we have a crosshair in the middle pretty cool right look look at my left screen look at this um screen see this it's a nice uh first person controller this works very really well let me know what you guys think about this give it a like if you liked it if you haven't subscribed please subscribe until next time goodbye